Hello, this is a very quick look at the Aotop drone. This is a really low cost little quadcopter and it's very light in the hand. Comes mostly pre assembled. You can see the blades are already there and in place. You will have to attach the little feet and also the blade guards. As well as the drone, you get a small box for the camera, which you'll need to install if you want to do any recording. And it's nice to see that comes with a 2 gig memory card. Nice chunky controller in the hand, the little screen at the bottom. And a little tip, it does come with blade guards, but you'll actually find them not in the main packaging, but stuck underneath. So make sure you do attach those first before you go flying. You don't want to cause any damage. There's a selection of screws included. These smaller ones are for use with the camera. So you want to make sure you use the longer ones when attaching the blade protectors. Doesn't take too long to attach these, just a couple of minutes. They just clip in and then you just screw in the main screws, just keep them nice and secure. And the landing feet don't have any screws in, they simply push in and are held in place. It's nice to see a memory card included with the camera in the box. One thing I did find extremely frustrating though was actually trying to install this. There's different plates that you're supposed to use with different models and the plates for this model I just could not get it to fit. It's supposed to slide in but the actual plates seem to be too fat to actually go in and I must have tried this for about 20 minutes or so and just could not get it to slide on at all. In the end I gave up and managed to attach the camera directly. So not ideal because it's a bit too close but it does still do the job. The main remote takes four AA batteries and there's a little screen that just gives you information about if you're recording video and percentage of power you're using. Battery is located in the top on this model which makes it quite easy to pull out and it means it's not going to fall out if you have a crash and it comes with a USB cable for you to charge this up so it is handy if you want to swap batteries out. In use I have to say actually this is a very easy to fly drone I'm, I'm not overly experienced but I found this actually quite easy to control quite easy to stay very steady. It has headless mode, so you don't have to worry about forwards, backwards, left, right in relation to the drone. And you can also turn it left or right. I'm simply using forwards and backwards here, but you can rotate it around if you want to. So you see I'm actually managing to keep this in the air and I'm not crashing it and moving around quite a bit. It does take a bit of practice, but actually this is probably one of the easier ones I have flown. There's a couple of controls on the unit for starting off video recording or taking a picture and there's another button that when you press it it will do a trick when you press the button it will do a loop-de-loop -loop. so that onboard camera works okay you can see the footage is a bit jerky but you do get a fairly nice uh, image and of course you can take photos still photos from this it, it goes a bit crazy when you try and do a loop-de-loop -loop. of course you can't really tell what's going on there but Overall, I'd say for the price, the camera is not too bad at all. If you just want to see what's going on from up high, you get a decent height and you can look down uh, pretty low. We'll just do a little loop. There you go. There's the loop-de-loop. -loop. And the, the noise you can hear is actually it's recorded the noise of the blades. So aside from that slight problem in fitting the camera, this is actually a really good drone. You get a decent flight time and it's actually very easy to control. And as you can see here, it survives a crash. Hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.